This flight attendant kicked the black cop off the plane over a minor issue, but what happened next made her regret it immediately. As Officer Jeremy Paybill made his way down the cramped aisle of the plane in search of his designated seat, he met a shocking surprise. A young man engrossed in a newspaper had already occupied his seat. Confused by the arrangements, the 31-year-old officer politely informed the man that he was in his assigned seat, urging him to excuse him. The young man, however, did not budge, only explaining that the seat was arranged for him. Taken aback, Officer Paybill double-checked the seat number on his boarding pass and confirmed that it matched the one on the seat's back before him. So, he tried to reason with the man once again, but before he could receive an answer, a firm yet calm voice intervened. Sir, please take your seat. We're about to take off. Officer Paybill turned around to face the flight attendant who had just spoken. She was dressed as elegantly as the rest of the crew. However, her face was devoid of the usual friendliness most air hostesses were known to possess. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell for more amazing stories. The woman, who had Catherine G, spelled out on her name tag, looked slightly annoyed, opting to flash Officer Paybill an irritable look instead of a brilliant smile. Officer Paybill felt a hint of surprise at Catherine's cold exterior, but ignored it, diving straight into the matter at hand. I think there's a mix up here, miss. This young gentleman is in my designated seat, he said, his tone calm and polite. Immediately, the young flight attendant peered at Officer Paybill with dull, uninterested eyes before stating something utterly jaw-dropping. Rather than attempting to resolve the issue by cross-checking the seat number on either gentleman's boarding passes, Catherine abruptly informed the officer that all the seats in economy class were fully booked. This dismissal shocked Officer Paybill beyond measure, making him struggle to comprehend the situation. He had only checked in one hour ago, and no one had told him anything about any overbooking. There must be a mistake, he thought. Regaining his composure, he pressed for a solution to his problem. Uninterested in dragging the awful conversation any further, Officer Paybill awaited Catherine's response earnestly, never suspecting the next words that would tumble out of her mouth. I am sorry, but I might ask you to disembark the plane at once, sir. We're about to take off, Catherine declared, her tone leaving no room for argument. Officer Paybill's eyes widened in disbelief as he tried to process the flight attendant's sudden request. How could he possibly leave, especially when the plane was on the verge of departure? Officer Paybill struggled to make sense of the situation. With his patience on thin ice, the officer inched towards the young woman, intending to inquire about what she meant. However, before he could pose this question, the flight attendant pressed on, unwavering, and without a sense of remorse. Please, sir. I need to ensure the satisfaction and the comfort of all the passengers. And you're getting in the way of that. I think there's a mix-up with your ticket and you can only fix that off the plane. Catherine's words were laced with finality and an underlying sass that made Officer Pabo wonder if he had ever had a run-in with her in the past. The black cop couldn't believe this was happening to him especially when he had just endured a long, grueling month. He was expected to submit one final report in Florida, where he was headed, after which he would be entitled to a three-week break. Therefore, boarding this plane was of the utmost importance to him. It was his only ticket to freedom from the stress and chaos that had consumed him for weeks. The thought of being denied boarding and missing the deadline for his report was unbearable to the young officer. He was on edge at this point, yet he maintained his composure. In a gentle, harsh whisper, he spoke to Catherine, hoping to make a compromise. Look, I can't miss this flight. Can you please find a solution that doesn't entail me disembarking? He went further to explain, in a similarly calm fashion, that he understood there was protocol to follow, but would be more than happy to solve the problem amicably. Unfortunately, 
His gentle and soft-natured behavior did not appeal to Catherine, who continued to gaze back at him with an unsympathetic expression. By this point, Officer Paybill was thoroughly irritated by the flight attendant's woeful attitude. While he could understand if she was acting up due to a bad day, the young officer knew it was no excuse for her sour behavior. Having had enough of Catherine's uncooperative attitude, Officer Paybill motioned to beckon another flight attendant for assistance, but was cut short when he caught a startling sight. Catherine, who had been treating him so coldly, suddenly flashed a radiant smile at a nearby passenger who inquired about the reason for the delay. She gently and calmly placated them, leaving Officer Paybill bewildered. He stared at her as if she were a completely different person, struggling to comprehend the unexpected switch in her character. However, while this bizarre behavior did leave him speechless, what followed next left him utterly shocked. The warm smile on Catherine's face vanished as quickly as it appeared and was replaced by the same icy stare the minute her eyes met Officer Paybills. Ironically, the young officer had encountered those cold, indifferent stares before. He had received them from superiors, his colleagues, and even random strangers. In all these instances, only one factor contributed to such treatment, his skin color. Officer Paybill grew up in the tough neighborhoods of Brooklyn where racial tensions and biases were a regular occurrence. Despite the numerous odds mounted against him, Officer Paybill managed to scale through to become a cop today. Now, as he stood on the plane, he realized that the same biases he had faced throughout his life were still very much present. Yet, irrespective of this, the officer chose to give the young lady the benefit of the doubt. He hoped that his perception of her behavior was merely a result of him being sensitive and not that Catherine actually possessed such racial prejudices. With that in mind, Officer Paybill decided to approach the situation with a level head. Instead of prolonging the issue any further, he asked Catherine for an upgrade, reasoning that he could stay in business class if economy class were full. Then, once more for effect, he added that he was a cop on official business, urging her to let him remain on the plane for his flight. However, without so much as a single check, Catherine turned down Officer Paybill's request, stating that it was impossible as all the rooms were fully booked. Yet, out of the corner of his eye, the young officer saw another flight attendant urge a fellow passenger to move to business class implying that Catherine had intentionally dismissed him without making prior inquiries. Then, in one more display of disregard for him or his status, the mean flight attendant asked for his badge, going as far as looking at it with an unimpressed expression after the officer showed her. Just then, something unexpected happened once again. A young lady rose to her feet, calling the flight attendant to order. Apparently, she had been watching the scene and was upset by Catherine's persistent cold attitude towards Officer Paybill, who had been entirely calm and polite the entire time. Catherine explained that she was acting according to protocol and hushed the woman with a dazzling smile, urging her to strap up as the plane was about to take flight. Then, she beckoned Officer Paybill to follow her to the crew station for a brief discussion. The officer believed she had done so to avoid the onlookers, who were starting to get irritated by the delayed takeoff and her improper etiquette. When they were out of earshot, Catherine revealed that she was the head of the flight attendants, implying that no authority above her could change her mind. Now that she was away from the other passengers, the air hostess had zero regard for her composure. Her seemingly cold gaze melted into a scornful look catching Officer Paybill off guard, hung in disbelief, as he stared at the young woman, confused by the sudden show of contempt. Officer Paybill asked Catherine if he had ever done her wrong in the past. Immediately, a sneer formed on the young woman's face. Instead of offering an answer, she huffed in annoyance before asking him to leave the plane and book the next flight. Seeing that an argument was a lost cause at this point, Officer Paybill opted to do as she demanded. 
The decision weighed heavily on him. As Officer Paybill left the plane, Catherine watched on with a pang of satisfaction, unaware that his departure would lead to severe consequences for her in a few minutes. About 20 minutes after takeoff, a member of the flight crew approached Catherine with news that made her huff in annoyance. The person informed her of a major dispute that had broken out on the plane. Quickly, she ran over to economy class, where the noise was emerging from, only to receive the shock of her life. Two people were arguing over an issue. Catherine soon realized that her earlier encounter with the officer had sparked an unusual debate on the morals of the flight attendants on the plane. This debate soon became heated before it came a full-blown argument. From where she stood, the perplexed flight attendant spotted the young woman who had stood up for the officer earlier. She was not a woman of color like Officer Paybill, yet she felt strongly about the situation, stating that she would take the crew's racist behavior up with the airport management. On the other hand, a faction of people who did not share the woman's view argued in favor of the flight attendant, claiming the officer was overreacting. Catherine's eyes were wide open as she struggled to make sense of it all. It felt surreal to her, especially as she did not realize the potential fallout from how she treated Officer Paybill. Still, as she stood and listened to the chaotic scene unfold before her, Catherine started to feel the pressure. Her underwhelming attitude had already put the passengers at odds with her, and now, as she observed the scene, it was becoming clear to her that she had made a mistake in treating the black cop the way she did. However, what Catherine failed to realize was that her problems were just beginning, and it would only take a short time before she was hit with reality. The woman's comments soon caught the attention of the media, who were eager to get to the bottom of what had transpired. Unfortunately for the young flight attendant, she was painted as the villain. While the controversy did stir different opinions, the general public's reaction did not go down well for Catherine. Her employers, who did not want to be associated with the scandal, had no choice but to let her go. Ultimately, she ended up losing her job due to the racism controversy. The news of the young woman getting fired reached Officer Paybill, who did not know what to make of it at first. However, in the end, the officer was satisfied that justice had prevailed. He did not wish for Catherine to get fired, but he had hoped she would be more cautious of her attitude toward others. As for the officer, he completed his report and got a well-deserved break, much to his delight. Binding bonds through beautiful tales. Thank you for watching.